Hi guys, I'm James and welcome back to my channel, Mostly Helpful. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about this, another Illy coffee machine. If you've seen one of my other videos, you've seen I've talked about these before. This machine I bought back in 2016. And the main purpose of today's video is to take you through the descaling process. It's in these instructions here, but it isn't as easy as you might think. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about a couple of things that make this machine both the best and the worst machine I've ever had. And as we've discussed already, it takes these Illy coffee pods. And I think that's a great system, although I've since moved to Nespresso. And the super thing about this machine is that everything that you need to access is here at the front. You've got a water tank, you've got your capsule system here, and you've got your, uh, your capsule bin system down there. Um, but unfortunately, whoever designed this at Hotpoint or Indesit, because Hotpoint is owned by Indesit, insisted on using touch sensitive buttons. And as I'm about to demonstrate, they are not the easiest thing to use. In fact, they're very, very flaky. So without further ado, let's make a coffee and I'll demonstrate what the real problem is here. With that water tank now filled up, down here at the bottom, nice and easy accessible, first thing to do is turn it on at the back here. One of the interesting things about this machine is it came with wall brackets. You can actually mount it to a wall, which I think is a great idea if you're a bit short on space. And then using our capsule, as we're used to, um, oh, sorry, turn it on at the wall. There we go. And then you get your lighty up buttons here indicating uh, as it's warming up. Take our capsule, pop that in there. This is all very normal Illy coffee system. And here's our cup. One of the nice things is it's got this little fold down receptacle um, tray here, so we could put it there. Let's do that. And let's just wait for it to warm up. So it's now ready. I suppose the thing to point out is that I had another Illy coffee machine that came after this and then more recently I've moved to Nespresso so this machine probably hasn't been used in two years. So we've got two buttons here. One is saying um, an espresso and this is a Lungo. I've put in a Lungo capsule and one of the problems is that they're very insensitive to touch. So there is no physical button it's just a panel but it seems that no matter what you do, it won't work at all. Now, when I bought this machine, I actually sent the first one back because I thought it was broken because I just couldn't get it to work at all. And this is a real flaw because everything else about this machine, I really, really like. It's got a good quantity of water in the bottom. That was one of the problems with my first Nespresso machine. It, it had a tiny water tank. It takes a good number of capsules before you need to empty the bin. And as I've mentioned already, everything's accessible at the front, so you can push it right back up against a wall and you never need to move it around. But this was just ridiculous. The only way I ever found to do it, and bear in mind it's been two years, is you need to get your thumb and completely cover the switch. And there it goes. But us nuts. And now it's a perfectly good coffee machine serving what I'm, I am confident will be a perfectly excellent cup of coffee. But the, the function here, um, it seems completely crazy that it wouldn't be more sensitive than it is. Let me finish this and I'll explain why that's a problem in a second. Come back to that in a moment. The reason this is a problem is that when you need to descale this machine, 
Well, it's a problem normally in just operation because it's a bit fiddly. And if you ever have anyone who needs to use your coffee machine in your absence, they'll never be able to use it properly. But specifically for the descaling process, it requires you to touch and interact with these buttons fairly regularly and to hold them for five seconds. And I'll take you through that descaling process shortly. But it makes that process very, very awkward indeed. So let's pause on the review there of the machine or, or end. There's nothing much more to say. Great machine, fundamentally flawed, I think is my, would be my summary. But if you happen to own one of these machines and you're wondering what the process is for descaling it, let me take you through the steps as shown in the instructions and I'll show you how to get it done. For the descaling process, the first thing is that the machine has to be off. So I've turned the machine off and I'm going to read you what the instructions say because it, um, it's, as I say, it's perhaps not as simple as you might expect. So make sure the main switch is off, which it is. Make sure there are no capsules in the capsule compartment. So let's eject that one. Um, remove the tank and dispose of any water and fill up the tank with 0.7 litres of fresh water, which I've done off camera. You then add the descaling product. Um, uh, just before this went away, I did this descaling process two years ago, so I know it doesn't need descaling, but add your descaling uh, product at that point insert the tank into the machine, done, and place a container having a capacity of at least one litre under the delivery unit. And in, this is the point where we can now start the descale. So switch on the machine and within 15 seconds, press button one, it calls it 5.1, and hold down for seven seconds. So that's button one. And this is why the button's lack of sensitivity is a problem because you've no idea if you're actually holding that button correctly. It will make a beep if I'm doing it right. Which I don't think I am. So then you have to stop and start again. So within 15 seconds, press and hold button one. For seven seconds. Nope, that's not worked again. Third time. You'll know when it works because that will then start flashing. So that's three times that hasn't worked. And yet I'm doing everything I can to make that button work. Let's try again. Nope. <laughs> Let's test if button one is even working at all and let's see if we can get it to vend some water. I actually bought this via Groupon and it cost £25. I think there was something like 150 when they were full retail. And I'm absolutely confident the reason it was old stock or new old stock being sold through Groupon was that nobody could get the silly thing to work. It's not going to be a very good descaling video if I can't actually get it to descale, is it? Just to prove that the machine is working, I'm going to get, I'm going to use the second button and get that to vend some water. Let me do it. So definitely still working. Unfortunately, button two isn't required to, or, or can't be used to start the descaling process. So 
So let's try again. I've just spent the duration of this cup of coffee trying to get that to work in order to demonstrate this descaling process. And the simple truth is, I can't get it to work. It is completely unresponsive, which was the problem we were talking about in the first place. So no descaling part of the process for this video. What I will do is I'll type out the, uh, the steps for the process and put them in the comments below. If you've got one of these machines and you get that descaling process to work, please do leave me a comment and let me know uh, if, if that's worked for you, because for me, I simply cannot get this button to respond. And without that button responding, I cannot invoke the descaling process. So there we go. My summary then is, if, is that this machine was a great machine for me and that button always was a bit more res responsive and I never really drank espresso anyway. But if you see one of these come up on eBay because you don't have an Illy machine and you're tempted, because it will be cheap, my advice is absolutely do not buy one. There are other Illy machines that are better. The one I bought afterwards, the Y3.2, was a better machine in terms of operability or go down the Nespresso route. But absolutely do not buy one of these, please, please. Sadly, though, it does mean that this machine is now uh, destined really for electrics recycling at my local waste reclamation centre because I just cannot get it to do what I need it to do. Hopefully that has been of some use. The channel's called Mostly Helpful, not always helpful after all. But if you have one of these machines and you've experienced these issues, please let me know, leave me a comment. Um, I'm keen to understand if this is a one-off with this particular example or whether other people are having these kind of issues. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.